Good morning, Steve. How are you? I'm good, thank you very much. How are you? I'm very well. You must be so excited. The show is premiering in just a few days now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, it's, a, it's a combination of excited and a little bit nervous. Right. Um, you know what I mean? Because after being and shooting this thing for the best part of a year yeah. and just talking to each other, now we finally present it to the world and, and hope that they like it. Yes, yes. Okay, so for those that don't know, tell them about House of the Dragon and a little about the sea snake, Corlys Velaryon. Okay, so Lord Corlys Velaryon is a famed nautical explorer. When we meet him in this season, he is um, the richest man in Westeros. He made his fortune um, by sailing these nine mythical voyages, and he basically elevated his house. He is fiercely ambitious. Uh, married to the beautiful Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, Targaryen yes. who is also known as the Queen Who Never Was, because at the beginning of the episode we see that the realm has a choice as to who should be the next monarch, and she is overlooked because she's a woman, and the person who's in the th on the throne is a man called uh, Viserys, played by the wonderful Paddy Considine, um, who my character feels is a nice man Mm -hmm. but nowhere near a good enough king. It should have been my wife. And so a lot of uh, this season is about trying to either get my wife back on the throne where she should be, or trying mm -hmm. to get my family as close to the throne and to the power as, as I possibly can. Yes, yes. So when you first signed on to the show, were you aware of your character's arc or did you have discussions with Ryan Condal and George R. R. Martin throughout or was everything a surprise from episode to episode? They, I was surprised for the most part from episode to episode. They did tell me something at the very beginning that I, unfortunately, I can't say what that is because it's, <laughs> it's a bit of a spoiler. But they did say, uh, yeah, they just gave me a rough idea of what's going to happen. Uh, but they didn't give any details. But I, yeah, I basically, I just went from script to script and just each mm -hmm. time opened it and thought, um, okay, that's interesting what happens there. And that's not, that's not going to be much fun when that happens to him and so forth. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. So you've been to several premieres now. You've, uh, you've, as you said, you filmed the show for the better part of a year. It's finally coming out now. Tell me about some of the highlights of your year so far. What do you mean, other than speaking to you? <laughs> um, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, it, all of it's been pretty good. It's been lovely to just um, to go to different parts of the world and discover that uh, there is so much excitement and anticipation for the show and so much uh, positivity surrounding the show. We just, uh, we hope that we can live up to it, but no, it's been a, a thrilling ride. Yeah, I can imagine. So have you watched the uh, original show or read the books previously? Um, I had watched the show, yeah. I, I came to the show very late, I because it's not a genre that I would immediately go to. So initially when it was on, and friends of mine were watching it, I was kind of like, dragons, don't be silly. Um, <laughs> and then one, <laughs> one day, a friend of mine, I think they got to around season three or four at this point, and a friend of mine mm -hmm. said, you've got to watch an episode. Just watch one episode, and then if you don't like it, fine. So I was like, okay, sure. And he put it on, <laughs> and I was hooked. So, um, so I watched it, and then I kind of lost track around season six. But then when I got this gig, Ryan Condal, one of the showrunners, he lent me a box set. So then I watched them all. I think I watched about three or four episodes a night. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. Wow. So what was it like stepping into the costumes? They're so opulent and the magnificent sets, the production design is just astounding. What was it like stepping into that world and creating this, you know, this character in this world? I think the, the clue is actually in your question, in the phrasing of the question. It was stepping into this world because um, so often as an actor you're relying on your imagination you know you, you, you i did a film a few years ago called prince of persia and there was a lot of money spent on that but i mean you'd walk onto set and there'd be a couple of pylons about you know i don't know two meters high and i'd sort of say to the director well that's not exactly very impressive is it and then we go no but we're going, to, we're going to paint it in well on this they didn't have to paint it in because they actually built these huge sets i mean the the hall where the the iron throne is it's just so magnificent. The statues that they've created. There's also a set for where my character lives, the Hall of Nine, where it's got all these wonderful artifacts from his voyages that they've created. That some of them, 
some of the stuff that's on my desk may never be seen on camera, but for us as actors, they're just um, really great to help you get into the character. The costumes suddenly have an effect on the way that you stand, the way that you move, mm -hmm. this wonderful mane of hair. Uh, yes. it, all, it all goes towards creating a, a good picture of, of who these people are. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned previously your uh, queen and never was youth best. Tell me about working with her. I love the relationship. Oh, good. I'm glad. I mean, to I know it's a bit of a, a pun, but it is the best to work with her. I, I've told this story before, but um, the very first thing that we shot for the whole series was a scene between uh, Eve and I uh, later on in the season. Wow. And uh, at the end of that day, when I went home, I actually said a, a prayer. I said, thank God for Eve Best. Mm -hmm. She, You couldn't want a better scene partner. She's... Uh, for one of the, I can't think of a better phrase than she's light on her feet. You can throw anything at her in terms of the scene and she can go with it. And she, I mean, she's just quality. And the joy of her, which is the frustrating thing of her, <laughs> is like an awful lot of very, very good actors. She has no idea just how good she is. Mm -hmm. And there's a scene later on, I'm not gonna, it's a big get together, shall we say. So what was it like being on set with the whole cast and crew? Um, it was fun because uh, by the time we shot that, we, we were much more fragmented as a cast um, because we were all together initially. We all shot, we all went down to a part of England called Cornwall to shoot, uh, which is the place that the, the castle doubles as my home. So they were all together then. And then we suddenly all got spread out. So there were some people I didn't see for months. So then we got to see and shoot that scene that you're talking about. It was a joy for us all to come together again and all be on set together and uh, behave rather badly, which is good. Yes, yes. <laughs> and then what was it like being on the King's Council? You're a very important uh, part of that. What was it like shooting those scenes? Again, it's great because you basically, everywhere you look around, there is just this wonderful acting talent. So I'm sitting opposite the great Paddy Considine. Right. To my left is the great Reese Ifans. I've got, you know, David Horowitz and Bill Patterson. I've got Gavin Spokes. So it was a joy and we, we were able, we were lucky enough to spend plenty of time on those scenes. There was no rushing. And one of the things the directors would say is, if we don't have it, we'll work till we get it. There's no uh, trying to cut corners. So right. you had time to really relax into the scenes. It was, just, yeah, it was fun. Mm -hmm. I imagine at these premieres, you've had a chance to watch the first episode. What was it like experiencing it as a viewer? Um, it's a mixture between pride and pain um, because you, because you, you watch and you just think, oh my God, all of these guys are just so good. They're just, I'm, I'm enjoying, oh God, there's me, there's me. Oh, oh, oh no, oh, look away, look away. Um, but uh, my question when I came out to everyone was like, did, did, did I embarrass myself? Was it okay? Will I, will I work again? Um, so, so I think I covered that. So yeah, but I think, um, Seeing all the stuff that I wasn't involved in, the, the epic nature of it, uh, the way that the, the frame is composed, the music, I am so impressed and so proud. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's quite the first episode. I don't want to spoil yeah. anything for anyone, but oh man, <laughs> people are in for a treat, yeah. I hope so. I, I was speaking to one of the execs the other day and she was saying to me, she said, you like episode one? And I said, yeah. She said, that's not even the best one. So it just gets better. Oh, man. Did you have a favorite episode to shoot without spoiling um, anything? I didn't have, I can't say that it was a whole episode, but there were scenes. I have a scene with uh, Matt Smith uh, towards the end, I think, of episode two, which I really enjoyed. Most of the stuff that I do with Eve was great fun. And there were a couple of one-on-one -on -one scenes with Paddy that, again, were just highlights. Yeah, yeah. So what's been the fan reaction so far? I know it's not out yet, but there's so much anticipation. There's already so much love for your character. What's it been like for you? It's been, you know, it's actually the whole of this process from the minute we started this whole promotional thing has been like yeah. being inside a warm hug. Mm. Do you know what I mean? It's been like yeah. uh, the people at HBO and now the people at Crave uh, around the world have been so accommodating and so supportive and positive about it. And then when we've actually had a chance to interact with 
the fans. They've all been so excited and, and wanting it to do well. It's, uh, it's been uh, really heartening. Yeah, yeah. And so what have you been watching lately? I know you've been very busy. <laughs> but... <laughs> oh, goodness. I, that's, you know, that's actually a very difficult question because I can't think what I've been watching. Um, that's fair. You've been traveling. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm not sure what to snap. Oh, there is something. I don't know which channel does it, but there's a show that I watched and I was like, oh, that's amazing. It's a show called Hacks. Mm, Do you know the Crave, show? it's on Crave, yes. You're in good hands. Oh, thank God. <laughs> yes. I was watching it because it was on Crave, obviously. Of that's, course, that's yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. That's why you mentioned That's the show that's yeah. taking my imagination at the moment. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so, so much, Steve. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your art. I can't wait for everyone to see you as this character. I can't wait to see more of it. I've only seen the first six, and now I just have to sit patiently and wait. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I can't wait, and I can't wait for you to see more of it as well. You're going to love it. Okay, great. Thank you so much.